Hi, this is David Quatello, Brand Strategy Manager here with Siemens. I'm here today with Nikhil Shah, who is a product manager for our molded case circuit breaker line. Also, sitting with us is Tony Perini, who is our product manager for lighting panels. So we're going to spend the next few moments talking about the QR breaker and how it is the successor to the QJ breaker. So Nikhil, first question for you, why the QR breaker? The QJ breaker has been around since the 1970s. Since its introduction, we have seen an increasing demand for the QJ breakers in the 240 volt applications. Okay. So as a result, what we decided to do is we, create, we wanted to create a new product, QR breaker, mm -hmm. that not only reduces the cost for our customers, but also improves flexibility. And so with this new breaker, the portfolio goes from 100 amp mm -hmm. to 250 amp at 240 volts. I also noticed here, uh, you brought a few samples. I see the QJ right here, that's the old mm -hmm. style, and then your QR lined up here. What's the difference? Why red, blue, yellow? The QJ and the QR are the same form and fit. Okay. The, the one change is, is on the label. Uh, with this new QR breaker, we wanted to be able to differentiate uh, the different types of interrupting ratings. And so that's why you have different colors for each interrupting rating on the new QR breaker. Also, we want to include UL type and also manufacturing gate code. How about some other features or upgrades between the QR and the QJ? So with the QR breaker, we added the new push to trip button. Okay. We also added internal accessories. So with the internal accessories now, you can actually field install them. The interrupting ratings are increased. We are introducing a new 250 amp frame and we're introducing three external accessories. Now you mentioned internal accessories. Correct. I would imagine that we've done that so we make it easy for our customer to do any field installation, That's right? Correct. So they don't have to order directly from the plant again. Um, can you show us a quick example of how that would actually work? Yeah. So here I've brought um, a QR breaker. Mm -hmm. um, a customer would just need to take the four screws off and take the space plate off and then you literally just plug in the accessory. So here is the auxiliary switch. You literally just screw it down hmm. and then the wire comes out from either the back or from the side of the breaker. It's one of the most feature requested on the QJ breaker is the ability to install field install accessories and we did that with the QR breaker. That's, uh, that's outstanding. So 250 amp, can you talk us through that feature set and where it applies uh, today? So with the new 250 amp, our goal was to target the residential applications. Um, as the demand for e-car charger is increasing due to the demand for electric cars, we wanted to implement a breaker that, which is the 250 amp that can be used in load centers mm -hmm. for those specific applications. We also wanted to introduce the 250 amp to potentially replace our existing Centron FD frames. I'd now like to bring in Tony Perini, who again is our product manager for lighting panels, to maybe tell us a little bit about the app application itself and where these breakers fit into the systems business here at Siemens. Well, for lighting panels and the 240 volt applications, uh, we currently go up to 225 amp with the QJ, and with the QR, we can cover that today. We actually use these in main applications and also in subfeed applications for a P1 device. In P2 devices, we can put them as a main or as a branch. And in P3 devices, we can mount them nose to nose uh, in six inches of unit space, which is a very compact um, setting for P3 style devices. Siemens also offers uh, power panels as well as switchboards. Sure. Would the QR apply there? It sure will. Um, in branch applications for P4 and P5, which are our power panels, and also for switchboards, uh, branch mounting of the QRs are uh, available today in systems. Uh, systems is working on the 250 amp to make it available across all platforms where possible. Tony, what is the word on the street? What is customer feedback? Uh, you know, it's very important to Siemens to get that voice of the customer. What are they saying about the QR breaker? Well, the customers like the fact that it has field installable accessories. That's the biggest feature um, that they, they like. Having the uh, 100K uh, for applications where we have a lower cost uh, option for the FT breakers is important but um, it's just availability and ease, ease to uh, modify in the field is probably the biggest feature. All right, so Siemens is making it easier to do business with us, it sounds like, right? Yes, <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, just to summarize, I know we spend a lot of time talking about some of the great features and benefits from the AIC labeling and the color coding to the internal accessories so our customers can save downtime by doing the install on the job site. 
And then Tony, um, you mentioned all the applications from residential, you mentioned eCar, mm -hmm. uh, but from P1s to lighting panels all the way through switchboards, QR is a fit, uh, even in the unassembled panel program, which Siemens offers, which is, which is fantastic. So the million dollar question to you, Nikhil, where can the customer get more information on the QR breaker? The customers can get more information through our Siemens sales engineer, okay. and they can also find additional information on the website, which we created specifically for the QR breaker, which is usa.siemens.com slash QR. Gentlemen, thank you very much for the time today. Thank Appreciate you. it. Siemens, ingenuity for life.